everyone. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Jacqueline and this is Low Carb Lish, the channel where we take our favorite high carb foods and make low carb versions of them to try to um, reverse our type 2 diabetes and control our blood sugars. Um, today I am filming on Sunday. I'm filming by myself today. Um, we are in Georgia and we um, got part of that big storm that went up the northeast coast. Um, so we have got a little bit of snow, but mostly we're getting sleet and ice. So I decided to go ahead and film this today. I'm going to hopefully get it up and um, get it scheduled for Monday morning. Because if we continue to get ice tonight, there's a possibility we could lose power. So anyway, I thought I'd get that done. Macy Grace is running around the house. If you're a little clicky-clicky of her feet, she's playing with her toys. We just came in from another outside run today. And you are getting the casual me today because we've been outside in the snow and the sleet three times today and my hair does not want to play nice with the snow and the sleet. So anyway, um, I am going to be making crepes today. Now, um, I used to love to go to IHOP and get their um, Swedish crepes with the lingonberry butter. And a friend of mine and I were talking the other day about how we enjoy crepes, but we can't have them anymore. And I got to thinking, I bet you I could come up with something. <laughs> I mean, it's funny what we can come up with when we really want something, you know? So I started messing around with some things, and I have come up with a crepe recipe that works really well for me. And I'm going to show it to you guys. It's so easy. And this is a um, meal. Sometimes I like to have breakfast for dinner, and that's what we're going to do tonight. So I've got two eggs heavy whipping cream, vanilla, oat fiber, this is not oat flour, it's oat fiber, um, allulose, glucomannan, and this is just three strawberries diced really fine. And I'm also going to use the um, Wholesome Yum Simple Syrup, and when we get to the syrup for these, I'll show you that. So, um, I've got the two eggs here, and I'm going to add in my vanilla. Stir that up real well, and then I'm adding in the cream, and like I said, this is three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and it'll all be down in the description. You guys don't have to worry about that. Get that stirred in well, and then we're going to do a half a tablespoon of allulose. Oh, and I forgot I'm also going to need a half a tablespoon of butter to go with the syrup when I make it. But, well, I'll show you that when we get there. And then this is just one and a half teaspoons of oat fiber. And this is what is taking the place of the flour um, that people use when they make crepes. And crepes are so thin, and yet they're really, really good. But you need something to help them stick together. So that's part of what is happening here is the oat fiber is going to help with that. And then the other thing that is going to help with that and also help with the texture of the crepes is the glucomannan. This is just a half a teaspoon of glucomannan. And I'm just going to sprinkle it in there and stir that in as well. And that is it. It is so easy, you guys. I remember years and years ago, I used to make crepes too, and I loved them. Um, and I would make, I'd get on kicks. Do y'all ever do that? You get on a kick with a certain food, and then you just make it for a while, and then you're over it? That was me. So I would get on these kicks where I'd make crepes and crepes, and crepes for days, and then I wouldn't eat them again for, you know, six months to a year. But I do love them. And I can't have the lingonberry butter like they have at IHOP. However, I'm going to make a really good strawberry um, syrup to go over it with actual strawberries. Like I said, this is just three um, large strawberries that I've diced up really fine. I'm going to put them in with simple syrup and the butter to create the syrup. And the strawberries are going to um, color the syrup pink. And they're also going to add a really nice strawberry flavor to it. So let me get the um, camera set up over by the stove because I'm filming by myself today. And as soon as I get everything set up over there, then I'll be back and we'll make these. Okay, y'all. So I've got my pan heating over um, a little before medium heat. It's not on low, but it's not on medium either. And I'm just going to spray my pan. 
and this is such an easy recipe to do and to cook. So I'm just stirring the batter up a little bit more here since I had to set the camera up. And I want it to be nice, nice and smooth when I put it in the pan. Those of you that have never made crepes before, it's, there's a little bit of a learning curve. Um, but you can totally do it. It took me a minute too. Um, but you just put the oil in, spray your pan. Well, my little whisk fell on the floor. I'm going to have to pick that up. And you just rotate the pan around until your batter is kind of coating the bottom of the pan. And we're going to leave it for a few minutes and you're going to see um, a little bit of bubbling happening. And when that happens, I'm going to take my spatula and my tongs and flip it over. And then we'll plate it and then we'll do some more. Um, so I'm going to let that cook for a minute. I'm going to pick up my little whisk and I'll be right back. And don't be discouraged if your first one comes out a little wonky looking. Um, like I said, there's a little bit of a learning curve on this. And also, if your pan's not completely um, warmed up before you put the first one in, it may take it a little bit longer to cook than the other ones. And you may, like I say, you may have some holes in it and stuff like that, but that's okay. It's all part of the learning process. And for those of us that love crepes, it's totally worth it. So my pan's still not quite warm enough, so we'll just wait just a couple more minutes, and then we'll be flipping this one. And what I'm doing is going around the edges of the crepe here just to see if it's getting close to done because it'll start moving a little bit um, when it gets close to done. And like I say, the um, pan is going to heat up more and more as we go too. So that'll make a difference on how fast it cooks and how smooth it cooks and all of that. So like I said, don't be upset if your first one doesn't look fantastic. And if you've never made crepes before, really don't give yourself a hard time because it takes a little, little practice, but for us crepe lovers, it's totally worth it. Okay, so I think this one is getting to where, and see, I, I can't even flip them without my tongs. So if you have to use um, tongs or whatever, I'm going to try it with my spatula. I tried the other day, and I did okay with the spatula, but... Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get brave and try the spatula again today because it does get a, a nicer portion of it up for you to pick up. And I don't know if you can see this, but we're looking for, it's just a little golden brown. And that's kind of what we're looking for there. And you can plate these up singularly on your plate. I like to fold them up and fold them in half and then fold them in half again. And I just do that because that's the way they serve them to me at IHOP. And I just think they're cute like that and I like them. But you can totally just put them in your plate flat. Especially if you're going to use them for filling. Um, you can fill it up with sweet things or savory things. Like I said, my friend, she really likes savory crepes. And so she's all excited because she's able to put chicken and all kinds of stuff in them. And I've got a few ideas I want to try on savory crepe too. And I'm tearing this one up, you guys, just because I'm checking on it too often. I just don't want it to burn. And I've done that. Oh my gosh, have I done that? Alright. And we're getting there. For me personally, it's a little bit better for me if I cook it a little slower than put the heat up too high and then I burn it really fast. And then I get sad. <laughs> so, I try to go a little slower and be a little more patient. Because sometimes I get really impatient when I'm cooking, you guys. I don't know why I'm like that, but sometimes I am. Alright, so I'm going to flip it over in the pan. 
and then flip it over again. And like I say, if you want to leave yours whole, you totally can go for that. But that's what it looks like when it comes out of the pan. And we just keep repeating this process over and over. And um, let me get that little piece out of the pan here. It wants to be stubborn. Hang on. Alright, we just don't want it to burn that one with the next one that comes along. And I need to get a spoon since I dropped my whisk over there. And you just kind of stir the batter up each time you do it. And I usually get four um, crepes out of this recipe. If you are using a bigger or smaller pan, you may get a different amount of crepes. But let's see, my pan's just about perfect now. And so you just move the pan around, let the batter do its thing. And that's what we're looking for right there is for the batter just to you know, reach out the edges of the pan. And you guys is so good to me. I mean, I was so surprised that she said something about crepes. And it was funny because I had just been thinking about those lingonberry butter um, crepes at, at IHOP because Jenny and her husband had gone to um, IHOP to eat. And she was talking about that somebody there had crepes. And so I was like, oh my gosh. And then then my other friend was talking to me that she'd been craving savory crepes. And I was like, okay, let me see what I can do. Because I really do love them. And, you know, I feel so blessed. Because I think God has given us so many substitutions for so many of the foods that we love that are high carb. And I'm so grateful for that, y'all. Because, honestly, the only things that I've found so far that I can't... Um, make a substitute for or find something um, to substitute that I really really love is fruitcake and banana bread and I know there's banana bread recipes out there where they use banana flavoring and everything I just haven't found one that um, really satisfies that for me that for some reason the banana flavoring that people use and they have to use it because we can't have you know bananas when we're eating low carb and trying to reverse our type 2 but the banana flavoring just sort of tastes kind of chemically and I don't know like a, it's more like a candy flavor to me than actual banana. So, so far those are the only two things that I used to crave that I haven't been able to find substitutes for. And honestly I don't know if I ever will be able to find substitutes for those. But there's plenty of other yumminess that I can substitute. So there's a second crepe. And this will be the third one, and I will get four out of this recipe again. And if you start doing your crepes and you notice they're sticking or they're burning, it just means you need to turn the heat down a little bit on your stuff. And you'll see little bubbles, and it's kind of like on the pancakes, except... The bubbles, um, when they're there, they're, it's still not ready to turn, but it shows you that it's cooking and everything. So, And you'll notice as I'm going along that each one is taking less time than the one before it, and that's just because the pan is getting hotter, and as it always does when we cook things in batches in our pan. And I just go around the edge and you know peel it up and leave it alone until it looks like it wants to move and we're getting there on this side but this side needs to cook a little more so uh oh Macy's barking at something she was asleep in her bed so I'm not sure what she's barking at right now she had a funny reaction to the snow and ice today that was the first time She's ever seen snow and ice in her life. And um, so I made a little video of us outside today just to show y'all how little of a snow we got. But it was falling on her and she was like, Mom, what is this stuff? And um, so I'm probably going to post a little video about Macy's snow day too. Um, I don't know if I'll get it edited tonight or not, but I'm going to try and let you guys see that. And she's also... Um, got new puzzles that she got for Christmas 
where she finds food in the puzzles. Um, so I'm probably going to give her a puzzle in a little while to play with because it's something that's good for her mind and it keeps her occupied. And we weren't able to walk as much as we usually walk today because of the sleet and the snow. So I want to do something to give her a little mental stimulation before we go to bed tonight. So I will probably film that as well. Alright, so that one I did not get folded up too well. Let's see, here we go. I'm going to have to use my little spatula, guys. That's what I'm saying, you know. I'm a home cook just like you guys are. I'm not a professional chef or anything. And we do what we have to do to make things work. Alright, so this is the last crate. And you know, if you wanted to serve these and serve them on a side with a meal or something, you could absolutely just have two of them instead of four. But honestly, y'all, the carbs are so low on this thing. This recipe, including the syrup and the strawberries and everything, it's only got 360 calories in it. And there's um, three carbs in the strawberries. And I think there's, I'm trying to think of how many carbs are in the crepes. I'll have it all in the description below, but it's under three, I think, and um, it, it makes a nice meal. It's really filling, and so it's kind of like that frittata that I did last week, you know, where um, it just is really filling to me, and even though I'm not putting veggies and all that stuff in with these, I'm just going to have the strawberry syrup on top, it still really fills me up, and it's just two eggs. So I think the oat fiber and the um, glucomannan really help with that to give you that feeling of satiety. I think I'm saying that word right. Um, so give it a try. You might like it, especially if you're one of those people that like to have breakfast for dinner like me. Um, I don't do it all the time, but I do it sometimes. And I'm always satisfied when I do it. All right, so let's see. Get a little spatula under here, yep. And um, also, using a nonstick pan helps a lot, guys. It helps a lot. I'm going to put this bowl in the sink while that's cooking. I'll be right back. And then as soon as I get this one plated up, we're going to make the syrup for it. And um, it won't be any time at all until we'll be having some yummy crepes. I love strawberry crepes. And even though this is not the lingonberry butter, um, it is sweet and it's nice and it gives you that fruity, tarty kind of feeling with your crepe. So I have been very satisfied with this substitute. All right, let's get you folded over here. All right, guys, so you can see that is a plate full of crepes right there. And it is very yummy and very satisfying. So let me switch pans here and let's get the syrup made. And this again is so easy you're not going to believe it. So I've got the strawberries, a half a tablespoon of butter, and I'm going to put um, two tablespoons of simple syrup in my pan. And I'm using the Wholesome Yum um, Keto Simple Syrup. And guys, if you, I'll leave a link down um, in the description if y'all can't find it at your store. Um, I have to get mine off of Amazon because my store doesn't carry it yet. Although, both of my grocery stores are getting better about having keto options for people. So, that's really nice. But, you're just going to use two tablespoons of this. This is zero calories, zero carbs. And then, we're going to do a half a teaspoon of butter. And, I put that in there to add that little bit of richness to it. And, also, I put just a touch, and I mean just a touch of salt in there. Um, it's something that my grandma and my mom taught me that um, when you're cooking sweet things, if you'll add a little bit of salt to it, it really balances out and brings out the sweet flavors in whatever you're cooking. And I have found that to be true. So, alright, let's get the strawberries in here. And all we're going to do is let this cook and let these strawberries soften up with the buttermilk, let the syrup and everything come together. And like I said, these strawberries will make the syrup a pretty pink color. And one thing I do want to warn you guys about, because I do this, um, when you are making the syrup, it's very tempting to want to taste it and, um, you know, see what it tastes like before it's ready and everything. However, 
This simple syrup is just like when you're cooking candy. It gets hot, 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 and it doesn't cool down immediately. So if you feel the need to taste it, which I always do, um, make sure that the spoon that you use to taste it, that you really, really, really let it cool off before you touch it to your tongue so it doesn't burn your tongue off. And I'm going to turn the heat up on my eye just a little bit, just a little past um, medium heat just because I want it to heat up and cook the strawberries. And you're not going for um, like canned or mashed strawberries. You want them to get cooked a little bit and infuse that strawberry flavor, but you don't want them to like disintegrate. And part of the reason for that is as the simple syrup cooks, it gets thicker and so you can reach a point with it where it's going to turn into like a um, almost a candy consistency instead of just being a nice syrup so you want to try to avoid that um, and so when it starts bubbling here I'm going to let it bubble for a few minutes and I'm going to stir it up and like I said I'm trying to get this strawberry infused flavor in it and I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera or not because my pan's kind of a pinky purple color but the um, Strawberries are starting to release some of their color, and so the syrup's getting pink already. And this doesn't take a long time. It takes a few minutes, but it doesn't take a long, long time to do. Oh, y'all, I almost forgot. Today's Motivation Monday. Um, so the quote that I wanted to talk about today is something that a friend of mine said to me years and years ago. And it stuck with me. Um, you know how sometimes people will say something to you and it sort of hits you between the eyes like a brick? And this really hit me between the eyes like that because I was so down on myself. Uh, my self-esteem was so low. I just didn't feel good about who I was or what I was doing in life. And um, he was asking me, you know, well, what do you want to do? And I was like, I don't know. And I don't feel like I'm good at anything. I don't feel like I'm worth anything and he said to me he said you know I will give you one piece of advice and I said okay lay it on me and he said all you will ever be is you learn to love it and when he said that to me something changed in me a switch went off in my head and I realized that I had gone my whole life without loving me and so I started that day making changes to my mindset about that and my life has just gotten better and better ever since that day and it didn't happen overnight but it it is happening so all right guys so the um syrup is ready and i think you may be able to see on here it's pink and so i'm just gonna ladle this the whole kit and caboodle over these crepes and you can see how beautiful that looks. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna check the camera real quick to make sure. Okay, y'all, so I had to change the camera angle. I forgot I had made everything so close so you could see me cooking these. But anyway, this is them on the plate, that all four of the crepes that I made, and all of the simple syrup put on top of them. So in just a minute, we're gonna be doing a taste test and I'll let you guys see how awesome they are. Okay guys, it's time for the taste test. I already know they're going to taste good to me. I've made these a couple times already. And um, I really, really like them a lot. Um, one word of caution is the same thing as when I was telling you guys to be careful if you're tasting the syrup. When you put them over, um, when you put the syrup over your crepes, make sure you let it cool off for just a minute first so it doesn't burn your tongue. But when you get ready to eat it, it is really good. It's got perfect crepe texture. It holds together like a crepe. It's got that same crepe bite to it. And with the um, strawberry simple syrup that I put over it, I absolutely love it. So let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is my happy strawberry dance and I make no apologies for it. <laughs> It is really good, you guys. Let me get a drink here. So that's the recipe, just that simple and just that tasty. If you guys um, try it, I hope you like it as much as I do. 
Like I said, these crepes, you can absolutely use them with savory things as well as the sweet toppings on it. And I would love to hear it if you guys experiment and get in there and try it. If you cannot get the um, oat fiber or the simple syrup, um, I will, or the glucoman for that matter, I'll leave links down below in the description because I have to get all three of those from Amazon myself. So I'll leave links down there in case you want to get the stuff and try it to make these. Because the oat fiber is also the um, ingredient that helps my Amazing Grace pizza recipe crust hold together. And so that's also an amazing recipe. Check that out if you get a chance. So anyway, thank you for coming to hang out with me tonight. Um, I really love hanging out with you guys. And I'm glad that I got a chance to get this done tonight and get it ready for tomorrow just in case we lose power. So um, take care of yourselves. If you would, hit that like button for me because it helps other people find my channel. I'd love it if you want to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you never miss another recipe. And until next time, I see you guys. Take care, be healthy, be happy, and be well. Love you guys. Bye.